It's time to open up your eyes. Open your eyes, we'll make you wealthy and wise. You can watch us prop. Hi, I'm here with uh, Sean Struther. We wanted to talk to him about his business. Huh. Well, right now I'm an international expansion leader for an organization called Organo Gold. And basically we utilize the uh, network marketing platform to basically teach and show people how to start their own profitable home-based business. And so as a training and expansion leader, that's basically what I do. And I'm always interested in talking to other business owners and business leaders because it's, uh, uh, that's what we're doing in 38 countries. And uh, you can see our uh, American Nigeria pin on really uh, focusing uh, a lot of my efforts this last year in Nigeria and that new launch and a lot of things that's happening in Africa and all over. So that's what we're doing. That sounds great. Thank you so much for talking. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> uh, it, my point is that to have a group of, of adults sit together, think through what you're about to go through. I looked at those boys last night when the Ohio State played Oregon, and it came out of the NCAA made five billion dollars. One of them called autograph his own jersey, he goes home, can't, can't stay in school. I mean, we've gone from picking cotton balls to picking footballs, basketballs. And nothing is fundamentally changed. And I, I one thing I want to think about when we do get together with this, with this meeting. Shop shop for athletes, uh, dealing in financial structure, marketing, uh, you name it, career development, it's offered under that platform. Okay. Thank you so much. and how you got started. Well, the Social Services of Hip Hop is a technical assistance intermediary that, <clears throat> that identifies and solves problems that affect the growth of hip hop. So basically what we do is we create programming that helps hip hop grow and expand. Um, this came into existence by evolution, um, just basic research and you know I started my college career and I started studying and working with Ed Lover and realizing that hip hop needed its own specialized services for ourselves, so I just continued to create that and inadvertently created a niche market. How did you meet with Ed Lover? Um, interesting, basketball. So my life <laughs> before hip hop is basketball. Um, and I was playing for Long Island University, Brooklyn. And um, Ed Lover came as a celebrity, one of the celebrity basketball games. And we just kind of went. They put us on the Hot 97 Hot Shots. And we just kind of went from there. And we played basketball with them. And, you know, he just opened up the door for me to, to carry our messages and to really push, who, again, who we are and the positive images and look at a different angle in hip hop. You know, right now we a lot of people focus on the artists and the content and the state of the music. But what we are focusing on is we're focused on, on the economic, political and educational development of our community and our people. Okay, uh, you mentioned a little bit about uh, a super PAC. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, um, what we're here at the 18th annual Wall Street Project Economic Summit is we're talking today about political, our, our, uh, the political base, our super PAC, it's called the Hip Hop United. So again, what we've been doing for the last five years of the Hip Hop Union is really looking at what it is that we need to do. And so we came up with the idea and the fact that, okay, we need to be politically, more politically aware. Not just politically involved, because when people want to spend big money, they, it's easy. They just come to us and say, hey, we want you to vote, and they woo us. But see, we're looking at it in a different way where, you know, you're not going to woo us. We're going to be already up to speed, and we're going to participate on our own without it. And so if you don't contribute, if you don't become a part and support who we are as hip-hop citizens and support and recognize our vote, then we're already going to know and we're already going to understand. And so what the community needs is not we need to know who's running, why they're running, uh, what each what each um office does and go back to the beginning and understand why we need to be participating in the political process and that's what our super PAC is about. Okay.
I got one, she's leaving, going back. I'm still missing two others. That's all right, you just take this picture. Okay? I got a single that I had put out, um, doing a video to his car, Nothing Can Stop Me Now, which I feel like, you know, you speak your great sense of the universe. Um, I just did an independent movie. I just competed in a bikini fitness competition at 45. <laughs> I lost like 30 pounds and got in shape and did that. Thank you. I'm working on a swimsuit line. I'm working on a Neo Soul project. I'm working on a um, regular CC Princeton project as well. I just was in the um, studio with Calvin Richardson yesterday. They call him the Prince of R&B. I said, the Prince of R&B and the Queen of Dance in the studio. I'm like, what? Listening to Enterprise on Blog Talk Radio with your host, Erica Collins.